Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mesbricks. This is your host, Mesba, and I have a very special episode for you tonight. We are going to go through some of the LEGO sets from the year 2022 and select the best one. Now, LEGO released 957 sets last year, or in 2022, so I'm not going to go through all of them, nor do I have interest in some of the themes, such as LEGO Friends or LEGO Ninjago. Not to say there's anything wrong with those, this is just my opinion. So do let me know in the comments what you think of my choices. I'm going to pick eight or nine themes, pick the best sets from each of those, and then conclude by saying which is the best set of all in 2022. So without further ado, let's go to LEGO Icons. Icons used to be the creator expert. This is directly marketed towards adult fans of LEGO like myself, A Falls. So these are usually expensive, overpriced, if you will, sets. So the first one, first nominee. So I'm going to pick four nominees in each category. And trust me, it was hard to narrow them to four. So the first nominee in LEGO Icons is the Boutique Hotel. This is the modular for the year 2022. It's a corner modular, very interesting angles, interesting figures, and each floor of this had a very unique design. Um, it was slightly overpriced in my opinion, but it's quite popular. Nice colors, and of course, interesting architecture. The second one in the icons category is the DeLorean. Now, they didn't market it as a DeLorean. They said this is the Back to Future time machine, and who does not like Back to the Future movies? In my opinion, the first Back to the Future movie is one of the most perfect movies of all. This set recreated the iconic time-traveling car, and you could recreate it in uh, the configuration of any of those three movies. The third nominee is the LEGO Optimus Prime. Now, this set was a surprise to many because this is actually a collaboration between the biggest toy maker in the world, LEGO, and the second biggest, Hasbro. And those two actually exchange the one and two positions time to time. And rather than competing, this was a collaboration. And we got one of the best sets in this category, which is the Optimus Prime. And the unique thing about it is that it can actually transform both into a car and into the robot. And of course, the final nominee in this category is the Lion Knight's Castle, the grand set from this category. Very expensive, over $500 in Canada, and this is the 90th anniversary special. But there's a lot of things going on for it. So many minifigures and unique tribute to nostalgia. So if you are a castle fan, you would love this set. And now, without further ado, in my opinion, the best set in this category in LEGO icons for the year 2022 is the Optimus Prime. I cannot say anything. I cannot say, you know, uh, I'm struggling to find the words to describe this set, but I do have which is good, I do have a video out on my channel reviewing this set, so do take a look. Let's go to the next category, which is LEGO City. Now, LEGO City is the life and blood of LEGO. Small to big sets, build your city, usually marketed towards kids, but also popular with the adults. Um, there was a lot of sets to go through, so I had to find a delicate balance. I didn't want to pick very expensive, so I did even though I didn't exclude them, I didn't pick the Lego train or the freight train because I felt, you know, they don't really fit into the theme of fun, of being moderately priced, and has to appeal to both kids and adults. So the first nominee, and I picked four, the first nominee is the Chicken Hen House. Again, I have a video on my channel about this. Do take a look. This is a great set. You get a lot of uh, interesting pieces such as the eggs, the chicken, uh, you get a vehicle, interesting colors, very nice build. The second nominee might come as a surprise to some of you, but this is the Space Ride Amusement Truck. It's part of the fairground theme, so if you know in the previous years you'll have other rides. Why I picked this is that this again ticks all the interesting check marks for a city set. It's 
popular with kids and adults, interesting colors, interesting build experience, has a vehicle, and you can fold the ride up and use it as part of the city, or you can set it up as a fairground. The third nominee is the hospital. Lego fans have been crying out for a hospital, especially from the modular set, but we got this one. I don't like the way they use the base plates. It, it takes a lot of real estate in my opinion, but there's a lot of nice touches inside the hospital. There's a children's room, there's you know, medical equipment and all of that. Lots of figures and of course a helicopter. And in the final nominee, we have the train station. Now I did say I did not pick trains. I didn't say train station. There's a lot going for this. We have been wanting a train station for the last five years. This one has a crossing, it has a road, it has tracks, it has a platform, it has a cafe, the ticket booth, and even a portable porta potty. I do like the bus though. The bus is one of the best bus to come out of Lego in recent times. So again, without further ado, the best Lego city set for the year 22, in my opinion, is, surprisingly, the chicken hen house. It is just too much fun. It's around $10 or $12 if you are in Canada, you get an egg, a chicken, interesting colors, and a vehicle. What's not to like about it? Let me know in the comments if you agree or not. Let's go to the next category, which is the best CMF. Now, I was thinking whether to have this category or not, and I thought, why not? Let's have some fun. Lego actually released three minifigure series this year. There was two of the CMF, one from the Muppets. So I did exclude the Muppets from this category, but I couldn't restrict myself to four. So I actually picked five. The first nominee is the figure skating champion. This has to be there because the female of the figure skating champion, she came out 10 years ago, or maybe 11 years ago. I think she was one of the first CMF series or the second one to be released. We had to wait a decade to complete the pair. So he has to be in among the best CMFs of this year. The second one is the Nutcracker. Very regal, looks royal. You can use them as a British guard with some modifications. There's multiple uses for that nut uh, stud. I'm not gonna say much more, but this is actually, again, everybody wanted one of these. The third one is the wheelchair racer. Again, you get a very unique mold, the uh, tricycle, I think, or the wheelchair racing. I don't know exactly what to call it. I'll call it the tricycle. You get a medal, you get the racing helmet, and of course the athlete. Uh, very unique, not you know like your regular CMFs. The fourth one is the ferry captain. And again, I like this big boat attachment that he has. You can use it in mini scale for many things. So this is a very useful minifigure. And the final nominee in this category is the turkey costume. It's just too much fun, and Lego is supposed to be fun. So, in my opinion, the best CMF for this year, 2022, is the Nutcracker. That's right. Lots of uses for these. Let's go on. We have a few more categories. This is the Harry Potter category. The magical world of Harry Potter. Now, as you know, if you have been following my channel, I have a whole Hogwarts setup. Uh, going on. So I was very interested in this uh, category, but this year I didn't buy too many of them because they didn't fit my own diorama. But again, lots of interesting sets this year. I picked four. The first nomination is 12 Grimall Place. We have seen this in mock for years. People have been mocking this building. The middle section disappears, reappears. This is something that we have seen from fans, and now it is an official Lego set. It is kind of overpriced in Canada, $149, but on Boxing Day, you could have gotten it for $89 and tax. Again, lots of minifigures, very interesting build. You can put it as part of your city or as part of a Harry Potter setup. The second category, the so second nominee is the Shrieking Shack and Whomping Willow. We had the Whomping Willow before, so I am more interested in the Shrieking Shack part. I don't actually like the Whomping Willow part in this set too much, but the Shrieking Shack is just perfect. And of course, you get the wolf and you get uh, the other minifigures. The Ministry of Magic, that's the third nominee in this category. You have a phone booth, interesting, lots of minifigures, including the gold statue. 
and of course the Dementors. So this is actually very, I find it very faithful to the movies and very interesting playset. And the final nominee in the Harry Potter category is the Thestral and the Hogwarts Carriage. I think this is from the sixth movie. Um, I cannot be sure, but yes, the Baby Thestral is what puts this set into a nomination. And this is just very good set because it's very cheap. Right now in Canada, it's $19 actually on Boxing Day sales everywhere. Uh, from the Creatures of Harry Potter, we had Dumbledore's Rescue. I didn't include it in the nominations, but the Thestral and the Baby Thestral make this set a must-have. So, the best set Harry Potter for the year 2022 is, in my opinion, 12 Grimoire Place. Hands down. You know, play feature, display value, minifigures, it wins on every count. And right now, $89 on Indigo. Do check it out. Um, yes, this video not sponsored by anyone. All right, let's go to ideas. Now, ideas is actually my favorite category. Uh, the year before, I bought the blacksmith, uh, and that was, in my opinion, one of the best idea set ever. This year, there was quite a few sets, so it was tough to pick four. So let me go through the four that I did pick. The first nominee is Vincent van Gogh, Starry Night. The painting itself is amazing. The way they recreated it in Lego is simply superb. Very nice usage of parts in very interesting angles. It's a 3D effect. It's the artist's painting, and the whole painting is the Starry Night. Kind of a pain to build it with all the different shades, but yeah, you have there. Very interesting display please, and you can even hang it on your wall. Then the second nominee is the Jazz Quartet. Now, in my opinion, this is what an idea set should be. Not very small, but not too big to be overpriced. This is just the perfect size, the perfect price, and interesting. Something you don't see you know, in the regular Lego sets. So again, I would recommend this set. It's a very, and you can you know, uh, put these, uh, I wouldn't say minifigs, but you can put the figures in a different combination. And, you know, it's, it really looks good. In the third nomination, we have the Motorized Lighthouse. Now, a lot of fans have been looking forward to this when they announced they were going to do it. The original submission was mini or micro scale. They made it minifigure scale. It's a pleasure to build, but yes, the controversy is over its price. In my opinion, this is way overpriced you should not buy it at the normal price. It's just too overpriced, unless, of course, you know, I'm not going to say what you can or cannot buy. In my opinion, you shouldn't buy, but if you have money to burn, why not? Motorized Lighthouse. And the final nominee in the ideas category is the Globe. I have to include it because it's very unique. It's not perfect. There's gaps. You can see through it. The shapes are not the best. The way they made the continents could have been better. Europe, I don't know what's happening there. Really, Europe is a mess. I'm talking about the globe. But, you know, it's a globe. It spins. It's circular. It's sturdy. So, and it's 200 bucks and more in Canada. So those are the four uh, nominees for ideas. And the winner, hands down is the motorized lighthouse this was way too popular despite its price so lego must have done something right with the price it's keep selling out it looks amazing it's a pleasure to build like there's not many things wrong from a lego perspective for this plus there's a new uh, piece here for the lens all right let's go to the final category which is the speed champions now, I'm not a very avid collector of Speed Champions. Uh, that's what I tell myself every year, but I keep buying them. So I picked four sets, not four cars, four sets for this year. And here they are. In the first category is 76909, which is the Mercedes. So there's two cars you have, uh, two figures, obviously. One of them is more the Formula Style one. The other is your regular race car. Looks really good. I don't like the color though, it's dull gray, but again, it looks really good. Speaking of dull gray, the second nominee, James Bond, Aston Martin. This is Daniel Craig's James Bond, so you have the blonde Bond, but the car is so good. 
In fact, a few years ago, Lego came out with a $250 Aston Martin car. I think it's that's what the price is in Canada right now. This $20 or $25 set is actually much better in my opinion. Yes, it doesn't have some of the play features or details, but it looks so good. It's very affordable. It's actually amazing that you have such an iconic exclusive thing in such an affordability, affordable range. So this is the 007 Aston Martin DB5. Third nominee in the Speed Champions category is the Lamborghini Contact. This set was the best build experience in the Speed Champions category this year. The way you build it, I do have a review out. Do take a look on my channel. It's just the build itself is one of the reasons why you should buy this set. Forget how it looks. It looks amazing. Forget the shape. It's a great shape. The build experience makes this set alone uh, worthy to buy. And of course, it looks great, great, great on the shelf. The final nomination in the Speed Champions category is the Lotus. Again, very interesting color, interesting shape, kind of bulky in the front, but that's how it is. I, again, I have a video out reviewing this. Do take a look. This is the Lotus. So, again, drum roll. The best Speed Champion sets of 2022, in my opinion, is, of course, Aston Martin from James Bond. When you have James Bond, how can you lose? This is the best set, in my opinion, in the Speed Champions category of 2022. You get a lot of interesting features along with the various number plates, the car looks great, and so on. And many people have commented about the sticker issues. I don't find any problems here. One of the best sets of this year. All right, so we have gone through all of them. Which one I think is the best set of the year 2022? Now, when I considered this, I also went through some of the other sets that I didn't put here, such as the Jurassic Park category. So the T-Rex Breakout came out this year. And there was a few other architecture sets. So I looked through all of them, the pyramids and so on. I had to balance between price. So it cannot be very expensive. The motorized lighthouse is really, really way pricey. I looked at, you know, details. I looked at play features, I looked at the appeal to adults and kids, and I looked at, you know, which set would hold on to its value, in my opinion, which set looks good on the display. Multiple considerations went into this, and in my opinion, the best set of the year, 2022, is, hands down, the Optimus Prime. This is simply there is simply no other set that can come close to this. You have um, the colors and the pieces. There's no funky piece. It's all regular piece, bricks and plates, bricks and plates, circles. And the engineering, again, it's very intuitive. It's very easy. After a couple of times, you don't even need the instruction manual to convert between the car and the robot. So again, I do have a video out reviewing this. Do take a look. In my opinion, this is the best set of the year. So tell me what you think of my choices, whether you agree or not. Remember, this is my opinion. I'm not saying, you know, this is the only opinion out. And if you like this video, do share it and do subscribe to my channel. It helps. This is Mesba. Take care, stay safe, and happy building.